Ultra Street Fighter 4, the final version of the Street Fighter 4 series, is finally here. If you've been meaning to get into the Street Fighter scene, these videos will bring you up to speed and give you a fighting chance in the most popular competitive fighting game. When you connect with an attack, the opponent reels back from the hit. This is known as hit stun. The amount of hit stun differs based on the strength of the attack that you connect with. So all a combo really is, is hitting your opponent while they're still in hit stun from the previous attack. There are several ways to achieve this. Chains are attacks that can interrupt themselves. This means that you can initiate another chainable attack before the first attack finishes animating. Note the animation of a single crouching light punch from Guile, versus pressing the button quickly three times in succession. The timing of chainable attacks is actually very loose, though it does have a particular rhythm. Most characters have a chainable light punch and or light kick attack. No medium or hard attacks in the game are chainable though, only light attacks. Finally, chainable attacks can cancel both into themselves and into other chainable attacks. As an example, Guile can chain both his crouching and standing light punch and light kick attacks. Since all of these attacks are chains, they're easy to interchange. Many normal attacks can be cancelled into special attacks, similarly to the way that chains can cancel into themselves. To perform a special cancel, simply execute a special attack just as a normal attack hits your opponent. When done properly, special cancels feel like you're inputting one fluid sequence. There's almost no delay between inputting the normal attack and inputting the special that you are cancelling to. Special canceling is important because it allows you to more efficiently use your special moves. Exactly which normal attacks are capable of special canceling varies from character to character. It's up to you to explore which moves work, so go to training mode and get testing. Linking is the act of comboing one attack after another has completed. This means that the first attack must completely finish animating before you hit a follow-up attack button. Links are perhaps the most daunting aspect of Street Fighter to a new player, because unlike chains and special cancels, links do not work off of any kind of interruption or cancel mechanic. They require a specific timing. Setting the training dummy's guard setting to auto block is useful because it blocks anything that is not a combo. This helps you know whether you successfully hit a link or not. If you attempt to link two moves together, and the second move doesn't even come out, that means you pressed it too early. If you attempt to link two moves together and the second move does not combo, that means you pressed it too late. Knowing whether you attempted to link early or late on a failed link lets you whittle down the timing until you get it right. The timing of a link varies based on which two attacks you're trying to link together. Some links are quite loose, others are extremely hard. Some moves can't link together no matter what you do. It's important to test your character in training mode to see which attacks you can and can't link, and more importantly, which links are practical. Target combos are specific attack buttons that are chainable or interruptible into other specific attack buttons. Essentially, target combos get to break the rules of what is allowed to chain. Some target combos are even special cancelable. If a character has a target combo or target combos, you can find them in the command list under Unique Attack. Most characters do not have target combos, but the ones that do usually get a lot of use out of them. Oni and Dudley can use their target combos to easily string attacks together without having to rely as much on difficult links. Simultaneously holding medium punch and medium kick initiates focus armor, which absorbs one hit from the opponent. Releasing medium punch and medium kick initiates the focus attack. Absorbed health regenerates slowly over time. Blocking while you have absorbed health causes regeneration to pause. And being hit causes all remaining absorbed health to disappear immediately. There are three levels of focus attack, and the duration that you hold medium punch and medium kick determines the level that comes out. Level 1 is performed by immediately releasing the buttons as soon as you press them. 
Level 2 is performed by holding the buttons for a moment before you release them, and is visually indicated by a white flash. Level 3 is achieved by holding the buttons until the attack comes out on its own, and is visually indicated by an additional white flash. Focus attack level 2 or 3 crumples the opponent to the floor, which gives you a free combo. Focus attack level 3 is unblockable. To deal with focus attacks, each character has at least one special move that is considered armor breaking. This is indicated by a lightning bolt symbol in the command list. Armor breaking special moves obliterate focus armor on contact, which is indicated by a shattered glass sound effect and visual. You can also break through focus armor by doing two hits quickly in succession, or you can just use a throw. While focus armor is activated, but before the attack comes out, you can cancel into a forward dash or a back dash. To perform this, hold medium punch and medium kick, then press back back or forward forward without releasing the attack buttons. Once the dash comes out, you can let go of medium punch and medium kick. This is useful because it prevents the focus attack from animating, but still allows you to utilize the focus armor. It's a great tool for getting through fireballs without having to jump over them. You can also cancel into a dash if the focus attack itself hits the opponent. To do this, simply hit forward forward or back back after the attack hits your opponent. This is particularly useful for giving yourself more time to combo after a crumple from a level 2 or 3 focus attack. Finally, canceling focus armor or a focus attack into a dash is one of the few things in the Street Fighter 4 series that buffers. This means that no matter when you input the forward dash or the back dash, the game will figure out the right time to execute it. So don't spam or input dash multiple times, just do the dash input once and the game will make it come out as soon as it can. When you block or are hit by an attack, at the end of the block stun or hit stun, you're able to input a special move. This is known as a reversal. Reversals can also be performed during wake up or just as your character gets back on their feet after being knocked down. It's a great way to tell your opponent, get off me. With the exception of projectiles slash fireballs, all reversal special attacks gain the armor break property, even if they don't normally have it. Be careful though, even if you use an invincible special attack to reversal, a smart opponent will predict when you want to do so, block the attempt, and punish you for it. Conditioning or training your opponent to attempt a reversal is useful for gaining damage via a punish. If you perform two crouching light punch attacks, then throw, your opponent may try to reversal the next time you do the same thing. Recognizing this kind of pattern means that next time you can block instead of throwing, which will let you punish your opponent's reversal. If you hit the opponent with an attack sequence and they block, most any attack sequence you use will have a big enough gap for them to reversal through. Chains, however, are an exception to this. Since they interrupt themselves, they are gapless, or true block strings. They don't give the opponent an opportunity to reversal. There are two meters in Street Fighter 4, the EX meter, or Super Bar, and the Revenge meter, or the Ultra Bar. EX meter is gained by attacking the opponent and using special moves. For the cost of one EX meter, you can turn any special attack into an EX special attack by pressing two attack buttons instead of one when you input the special move. EX special moves gain additional properties. For instance, Blanca's Blanca Ball becomes projectile immune when EXed. Super attacks, or supers, cost four EX meters, the whole bar. They're quite powerful, and exactly what they do varies widely from character to character. You gain Revenge Meter, or Ultra Meter, by taking damage. When the meter reaches 50% or more, you're able to perform your Ultra Attack. The more full the meter is, the more damage your Ultra Attack does. Generally, Ultras are the most powerful combos a character can land. If you use Focus Armor to absorb an attack, you still get the Ultra Meter. Since absorbed health regenerates over time, this means you can potentially build up free Ultra Meter without taking any damage. 
Choosing between Ultra 1 or Ultra 2 when you pick your character is largely dependent on which character you will be fighting against. You can also pick W Ultra, the third option, which allows you to perform either Ultra during the match, but at the cost of your Ultra doing reduced damage. For the cost of two EX meters, Red Focus empowers your focus attack to absorb an infinite amount of hits instead of just one hit. The Red Focus attack deals a bit more damage than a normal focus attack, and it also grants extra Ultra Meter if it absorbs a hit. To perform Red Focus, hold Light Punch, Medium Punch, and Medium Kick simultaneously. Since Red Focus absorbs an infinite amount of hits, the only way to beat it outright is to use an armor-breaking move or to throw it. Also for the cost of two EX meters, many normal attacks and special attacks can be cancelled into regular focus, which can in turn be cancelled into dash. This is useful defensively for making reversal special moves safe on block via backdashing after the focus cancel. EX Focus Attack Dash Cancel can also be used offensively via forward dashing after the cancel. This opens up new combo opportunities that would otherwise not be possible. Initially, this will seem difficult to perform, but breaking it down into steps helps immensely. First, practice focusing and then dashing. You can do this pretty quickly. Second, practice doing an attack and canceling it with focus. Just press medium punch and medium kick when the attack connects with your opponent and keep holding them. Third, practice canceling an attack while holding focus for a bit, then dashing out. Finally, just speed up the process, which gives you enough time to follow up for another attack. This mechanic is quite useful, and once you get the hang of it, it's pretty fun, so get practicing. For the cost of 3 EX meters, you can cancel certain normal or special moves into red focus. Canceling an attack into Red Focus causes an instant crumple even if you don't charge the Red Focus at all, and this is the main reason that this is useful. To do this, just press Red Focus as an attack hits the opponent. They'll instantly crumple, at which point you can dash forward and continue for a big combo. That's it for part 2, and if you've made it to this point, by now you should have a pretty good idea of all of the main mechanics in Street Fighter 4.